been there a long time. This is merely an ancillary asset to the rear of the property that might be there for time. Yeah, but that's what I don't know. But just those two questions. One, is it a permitted development anyway? And two, confirm that the applicant would need to come back to us again. Uh, yes, uh, the, the, the second point is, is quicker to deal with. Um, if, if residential use for the outbuilding is quite well implemented, um, as used by outbuilding or any part of the, the residential elements of the, of the property as commercial use in the future would require uh, planning permission and uh, change of use. If planning permission is granted tonight for the, um, for the residential, um, well, very briefly and very simply, the law only requires planning permission at this moment in time because it's not in residential use. Um, if it was in residential use, then the law would have required planning permission anyway, and we would have about without needing planning permission because it, it, it's covered by the development plan. Jenny? Um, I think
question is, is granted by that analysis <coughs> proposed to our further condition uh, in, in addition to those that are listed in the report uh, to read the residential occupancy of the building the subject of this plan permission shall at any one time be limited to 16 people. This is to ensure a satisfactory standard of accommodation having regard to the communal facilities to be provided. Um, there is a qualified additional Um, can I just ask for some clarification? Um, Papa, mm -hmm. I know that you pulled this out of the delegation um, for the council to have an interest. I just wanted to. No, I didn't pull it out of the delegation. I made some uh, initial comments in the initial application. The existing application has been very good.
and twice the height, taking it down to six feet. So that she's increased visit the around the fence. That's the only picture I need to about actually the standard feather edge boarding fence. It doesn't get any different to a number of fences around the block. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say really, there's nothing more, it's, it's a standard. I don't know if I can just clarify, it, it, it can be three feet without planning, so it's merely the height we're talking about rather than the position anyway. So um, that's it, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew how high the original gym was. We, we left it in that position to leave a tree in position without having to remove it. I discussed it with all the neighbours beforehand, apart from Jenny next door because she ran to the door. I discussed it with Mark who you've just spoken to. My neighbour Sam, she was able to fully wear the fence before I erected it. You know, he never brought up a problem with it afterwards. I misinterpreted the planning as one on an adopted road. I assumed it being a bridal way meant I wasn't subject to the six foot plan. Otherwise, I would have sought planning prior to. And that's it, really. And sorry about my voice. It's okay. It's sorry. Okay. Is there a wall council that you